Hello, we are Football Couple. Hello. And welcome to a very special video. So today marks two years of our YouTube channel. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a huge binder update of everything we collected in our second year on this channel. So it isn't going to be a full collection. It's only going to be what we collected from November 2018 to 2019. So we did do a similar thing for last year where we showed everything we collected in the first year. So we're going to be doing a similar style and same kind of idea for everything we've collected in our second year. So there's quite a lot of binders, so we're just going to get cracked straight into the first one. Okay, so we're going to start things off with our most recent collection, and that is this Match Attacks 2019-20 Champions League International Collection. So this is the collection that we're opening the products for lately, and we're doing okay with the collection. We haven't completed too many teams, but we've got one or two done. And this collection is different from the UK collection. We have 16 players per team, and it's laid out in quite a strange order, but we think we've figured it out. We think it's the starting 11 first, and then the bench players afterwards. So it's the Spanish teams first. So here we have Barcelona. Atletico Madrid is our first complete team. And there's Real Madrid. Still need a few for that. And Valencia being the last Spanish team. Then Bayern Munich and Dortmund started down here. So we do have teams starting in the middle of pages, which is quite strange at first, but I'm kind of getting used to it. There's Leipzig badge there. And Bayer Leverkusen. We are missing quite a lot of base, actually. And then onto the English teams, you have Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, and of course Tottenham. Then there is a full Juventus team here, not just the single Ronaldo card, but we are still missing a few for that. And there's some teams in here that don't feature in the UK collection at all. So we have Napoli, Inter Milan. There's a few cards in here like the Sanchez, which isn't in. It's our actual on-demand card. It isn't in the UK collection. He's still in his Man United kit, I think. Yes. And we have Paris Saint-Germain. We have Lille, which is another complete team we have. Benfica, where we still need the badge for. Genk. Zenit, which is quite a cool badge. I like seeing that badge. Galatasaray. Salzburg. And Leon is the last base team. And then we still do need a tactic card. The order in the binder isn't carried on through the numbers. So you can put the little mini sections in whichever order you like. So we've gone with Man of the Matches next. And we're doing quite well. We need one more, but there isn't a man of the match for every team. But we're doing quite well with it. And yeah, it's laid out. that's where we struggle, so it's quite nice to be only one away from completing them. Yeah, so that's the one we need. It's the Genk. And then MVPs, we've done that. Pretty happy to have done that. That's all the silver inserts. And then next up is a new type of card. We have the Pro Performer. So there's 20 of these, and the first 10 of these are gold. But the last 10 are non-foil at all, so that's quite strange. But it's cool, but strange at the same time. It looks quite strange having the non-foils in the back of the binder after the inserts. And then we get Club Legends. There are only four of these, and we have three, so we're doing quite well for that. The Centurions, we have four of those. Record Holders, we still need the Messi, unfortunately, which is one we did need for a long time in the UK collection, and we have it now for that collection. Patrick Heroes, and then these two awesome cards that were included in this collection, the sort of binder cover and the Champions League logo. Then we go on to 100 Clubs. We need three of these to complete the 100 Clubs. So we need Alisson, Varane. We do have Van Dijk, Laporte, Kante, De Jong and Mane, as you can see. We have Sterling, Mbappe, and the 101 Messi, and I think it's Son that we need. Yeah, I think so. And then for limited editions in this collection, there are 15, and they're all gold limited editions, so there's no silver or bronze. And the first 14 you can get in any of the packs. You can get them in mini tins, the blisters, or the multi packs. You can get them any. So the mega tins, they do have assigned limited editions, but the rest you can get in any packs. And the 15th one, the Sane, is exclusive in a magazine. So we have doubled up on a few for that reason. But we are still doing quite well. We've got the Neuer, 
Ramos, Van Dijk, Sancho, Kane, Hazard, Mbappe, Ronaldo, Messi and Salah. And then the final limited edition would go here. So we've just left a little gap, just a line, before I move on to the exclusive cards. So we have the Super Squad cards, which was exclusive in the Stat Pack. Then we have the exclusive tin cards. We have the Game Changer set. The Super Boost Striker set. World Class mm -hmm. Superstars. And like we said when we was opening these, there is a few differences to the UK collection tin exclusive cards. So that's pretty cool. And we end on the Wonder Kids. So it does only just fit in the binder. I think if we didn't leave the gap it would finish around here or here so it only just fits but i kind of like that let us know what you think of this collection and we'll move on to the next one so next up is just a quick one so we have the match attacks on demand for the 1920 season so this is something that will be released throughout the season so we don't have too many yet because it is quite early in the season still but first up we do have the super cup which was released pre-season for the the tournament so we have got that in here and we decided to go ahead and put the other four cards that we received with it in here because although they are numbered the same as the international collection they have a slightly different finish and we just wanted to keep them together yeah they're not as glossy and then next up we have the squad updates so we have all the players in their changed kits with an mvp there which is pretty cool and the game week starts here with this Di Maria and we see that you can see what it was for on the side. Yeah, and they've added the on-demand logo this time. Yeah, I think that's cool. a really, really cool feature. So like you see, we have three there for the actual on-demand and then we have a few more on this side. We have so. ordered a few more and we're waiting for them to come in so it will grow throughout the season. Yeah, it's definitely something we enjoyed collecting last season so I'm sure you'll enjoy collecting it again this season. Next up we have the Adrenaline XL 2019-20 Premier League collection. This was a groundbreaking collection because this was the first time Panini has the Premier League and it is a beast of a set. Unfortunately we aren't doing too well with it, we've had a bit of bad luck with it but this was definitely an awesome collection I'm always happy to collect Arsenal cards. It's nice to see some few, a few inclusions that you wouldn't expect like Martinelli. And as you can see, this is the single-sided binder, so we haven't used this side at all. But we have quite a lot of gaps. We still plan on opening a lot of products for this, so hopefully it can fill up over time. And let us know in the comments how you're getting on with this collection. And if you've completed any of the teams. I don't think we, ha we have completed any of the base teams yet. We're still waiting that. Like I said, we have been getting unlucky, but these things happen just the pack look really but the inserts rates for these packs have been insane we've been getting far more than we've expected so we've got quite a lot of inserts as well so even though we're missing quite a lot of base we have been getting lucky on the other side of inserts yeah but it is still quite early in the season so there's plenty of time to open plenty more products i'm sure it'll fill out pretty yep. quickly really. and i'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the panini plus set which is like the update set I think we should get the new transfers that come in in January and a few players that have been missed this season like Pepe for Arsenal. He wasn't in this one but hopefully he'll be in the next one. It's a really good first collection from Panini and there's a lot of variety especially in the inserts and it's one of those sets that really do grow on you as you go through it and as you collect it. And Sheffield United there, first cards for those in a long time. Southampton, Tottenham, getting towards the end of the base, and then we'll get onto the inserts. So there's Watford, we're, we're really empty on that. There's always one team in every collection where we seem to do really bad. We struggle with, I think Stoke in our first collection, we still need cards for. So two keepers in some of the teams as well, which is quite cool. And then onto the inserts, so we have the hero cards got most of them I'd say still need a few though we do still need quite a lot but it's almost the equivalent to a mine of the match where yeah. it just takes a lot of time to complete these They're definitely cool cards you get these in pretty much every pack so that's awesome 
and then there's the end of the heroes. So I think there's two for every team. It's quite a lot. And then we have the awesome foursomes. We do have all four of those. So the Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City and Tottenham. The top four, of course. And then top keepers. We don't seem to pull too many of these. We seem to get If we do, we seem to be getting the same one. But it's cool. And diamond cards. Definitely a cool addition. The up and coming stars of the league. I don't think that's the last one that we need. Yeah, we only need one of those. Same with the Savage Silks Yeah, too. Savage Silks is a card we double up on a lot. I think we've had the Man about yeah, four or five times. The Lucas Mora is a yeah. regular. And if you know what this card is, let us know in the comments. It's our last one we need. And then my favourite card of the collection, the Game Breakers, but we're not doing too well, typically, and my favourites. So we have only four. Yeah. That, but they are quite rare, I think. That card design has grew on you a lot, hasn't it? Yeah. I we, still prefer the Elites. We have triple threats. Nine of those, is there? Yeah, I think We so. have the most important one, <laughs> the Top Guns. Really cool addition as well. There's some really cool cards, actually, in here. And then we have the Elites, which is your favourite, is it? Yeah, it's cool. Is, is this two per team? Or... Because Everton no. have got two there. Favoritism. I think it's <laughs> fairly random. Yeah, they're quite awesome cards. Let us know which type of card is your favourite. And this is where we've been getting unlucky. So we've got two golden ballers, but we've had Salah about five times and De Bruyne yeah. twice, and we still need the other three, is it? Yeah, we've actually pulled more invincible cards than we have golden ballers. When yeah. we have two, we've had about four invincibles. Yeah. It's just not been our collection for luck on watch. Unless you go in as the invincible, oh, which yeah. we're doing well for that. And then there's the trophy card before we get into the limited editions. So we have left a gap for the signed card. Hopefully we can get it. We do have openings coming up where we'll be trying to get it. Yes, so keep look an eye out for that. those in December. So that'll be the odds. We still need a few as well of the premium ones. So that's where the gaps are. Almiron as well had a signed one. And I think the other one was Larice. So that'll be Larice and the signed one. Then we do have all of the premium gold ones. Because we opened the premium gold pack. And then back to the regular ones, which we have all of as well. These were the two in the Advent Calendar. So if you haven't got the Advent Calendar yet, they're the two limited editions that you can get, or that you will get. And then ending things up with our most recent edition, which was the Shane Long, which we added in the latest Strike It magazine. So that is how far we've progressed with the Premier League collection. Let us know in the comments how you're doing, and we'll move on to the next one. Next up we have the Match Attacks 2019-20 UK collection. So as you can see this is the Champions League and Europa League collection. And we are doing pretty well for this collection but we have opened quite a lot. So as you can see straight away we do focus more on the Premier League teams. So start things off with Man City. I think we have completed all the base so this is the complete base. On to Liverpool, Chelsea and then Tottenham so that is the end of the Champions League teams then going on to Europa League teams we have Arsenal Manchester United and of course Wolves and then we do move on to the European teams starting with Barcelona and the Spanish teams going on to Bayern Munich and the German teams and then on to France and so on and so forth, really. So then the teams start to dwindle out. We get less cards per team and no badges. And the one yes. Ronaldo card at the end. Just the one Ronaldo card, yeah. As you can see, we have three for... Zenit. Zenit, yes, and then one for Juventus. So then moving on to the inserts. And I think we've probably had the most strange, insane, weird look possible. Because we do still need a... Is Man it Chelsea of Man of the Match? Which is just insane. Yeah, that's called a petter, I think. Yeah, we've doubled up probably on every single one at least once, but for some reason we just can't get it. I'm not I'm not sure how that's even happened. Yeah, we need two silver inserts to complete the regular collection. Yep, it's same with the Liverpool MVP, which is the Virgil van Dijk. So we do have both of those in the international collection, but for some reason for this collection they just they're just not in the packs. They want I don't to know avoid how. Us. I don't know what the odds are of avoiding them. We do want to try Pretty and pull insane. them ourselves. We want to try and get them out of packs. Yeah. We still have lots of packs to open, so we'll try and get it before we buy it or trade it. Oh yeah, definitely. So moving on to the gold inserts, we have the Club Legends. So I think we've completed all of those. 
Moving on to the Centurions and the record holders, with the first Hattrick Hero being here. There's the rest, and then we have all of the 100 clubs, which are still by, by far my favourite design for the 1920 season. Yeah, I think we've got all of these at least twice, other than the Kante. Yeah, I think it's only the Kante we haven't doubled up on yet. Which but makes I'm... it more insane why we still haven't got those MVP, that MVP in the Man of the Match. Yes, there's plenty of time to get some more Kante, so let's, let's, it's, it's realistic, we could do it. <laughs> so moving on to the limited editions, and we are doing pretty well. We have got quite lucky and we've had quite a few lucky packs. So this Salah, which would be at the Swap and Blade Tour, we managed to get early, so that's pretty cool. And then we do still need the Bronze Sancho, but stay tuned, that should be coming up pretty soon. Yeah, the mysterious Silver Hazard that was supposed to be out in August, but yes. never arrived. We have heard it's probably going to come out in the new year sometime, so keep an eye out for that. The only one that we can get that we haven't got was this Silver Cane, which is in the mini tin. We haven't managed to get that yes. yet. That has been pretty unlucky. We've got a few golds, the lots rest, of bronze, but no silver. The rest were just waiting to be released. Yeah. So we're doing pretty well, as you can see. Got the complete Aubameyangs, complete Sterlings. Just need two more on there. And then, of course, we have the Tops Online exclusive. So that will be the Ramos with the Black Friday deals. And then the Sane on the first. Looking, looking forward to that a lot. So yeah. And then we've included cool. our print me's there just at the end of the limited editions. Yeah, we'll just complete the line. This will be really cool there. So moving on, we do have the exclusive cards. So these ones were from the starter pack. So we have the Super Squad cards there. And like we said in the international collection, they are different between the two collections. Yep. We did open all the tins for the UK collection in one video and all the tins in the UK collection, in the international collection in another video. Yeah, so moving on to the game changers. Here we have the tin ones, like Mr. Saying. The Super Boost Strikers the world class superstars and then finally the wonder kids i obviously prefer these ones because we've got the arsenal players in here whereas the international collection doesn't have the Europa yes. league teams that is pretty much the main difference between the exclusive sets but let's know in the comments which do you prefer the uk version or the international version but that is it for the uk binder Okay, so going back to the end of last season, we have the Match Attacks 101 collection. And this is a complete collection, which I'm pretty happy about because so far this has been my favourite thing to collect. I just think opening this collection was really fun and the structure of it was just a little bit different and it was something nice to have at the end of the season. Yeah, it was super enjoyable, this one. So it is focused on the international teams and we do have the checklist here. And the first little mini set we have is the Summer Stars, which was the last four teams that were in the Nations League, which was a pretty cool addition. That new tournament, the Nations League, got some love in the cards. Yep. And then we have the International Stars. This is just some of the stars from international teams. Yeah, it was pretty nice to see Moy featured in there as yeah, well. There I was pretty is. happy about that. Obviously, Australian. I just think the design of these cards are really cool. Just nice, simple background, but makes this player stand out a lot. And then we have the women's superstars. Again, nice inclusion. And legends, which were my favourite inclusion. They were just awesome to include this. It's not something we've had a lot of in the past. So nice to see it in here. So we have the Ronaldo, Beckham, Maradona, Zidane, Best, Keane, Dalglish and Giggs as the legends. Before we move on to the world stars, so this was Topps' countdown of the 101 best players in the world. So it might be a little different now. So we we'll start there with the 101. Yeah, I really hope they do it again this year so we can see which players have swapped and who's become better or maybe who's doing a little worse. It would be quite interesting to compare. Yeah, so the first lot were non foil and then we got into the foil ones soon, I think. Where was it? Yeah, around about here. Yeah. There's only a slight difference, the numbers slightly foiled and... Yeah, and the background's far there, you can see it on the Testagen there. And it goes all the way into the 100 clubs for the top 10. 11, is it? 10, mm, I think, yeah. 10, yes. So here they are, yeah, 10, starting with the Van Dijk. I just think the 100 clubs as well, this subtle orange effect on it, made it different enough to be the same, but also to stand out and be worthy of 100 clubs. So like we said, Van Dijk, Kane, Hazard, Modric, Griezmann, Neymar and Salah before we get on to the third, second and first best players in the world according to Tops. 
Um, they are the Mbappe, Ronaldo and Messi. Somewhat controversial, you might say. Yeah, let us know in the comments. Do you agree with those positions? Yeah, or would you put them in a different order? Messi being the 101, because he is the number one. And then we get on to the limited editions. There were only seven, which is a nice amount. And Aguero got the gold, silver and bronze, but the rest are just gold. I think these two are in magazines. That was the starter pack. Yeah. Aguero might have been the multi-pack. I think the Lingard was in the tin. Yeah. So really awesome design here. Kind of vintage feel about them, actually, I think, with a, with a double picture in the background. Some of my favourites, at least. And then we move on to the tin exclusive cards and the starter pack exclusive cards. Yeah, I, I think, think this is the starter pack. No, I think this was the tin. The homegrown heroes, so obviously that's the UK and Ireland. And then I think it was the global heroes that was mm, in the maybe. starter pack. The subtle differences between the colours, but kind of the same. Just really makes the players pop, and I think it was really cool. And like I said, collecting it was really fun, opening it was really fun, and this was probably our favourite collection, and we're glad to have it complete. So next up we have a collection that we collected throughout the summer. So we have the Adrenaline XL Road to Euro 2020, and we opened quite a few products, but we didn't open too much, so we do have quite a lot of gaps. Although we did manage to get all of the Top Masters and the Expert cards as well as the Invincible. So that is a pretty cool page. I kind of like it being at the front. Yeah, it was different from before, wasn't it? Yeah, so we'll fly f through the base really because we do have a lot of gaps and a lot of gaps to fill in. Like I said, we didn't open too much, but it is kind of nice collecting this collection because there's quite a few teams in here that we probably won't see in the Euros because they didn't qualify. And it would be interesting for the ones that did qualify, how different their qualifying team is to their actual tournament team. Yeah, once the Euro collection is released, that'll be a nice comparison to make. Yeah, definitely. Some really cool cards in here, to be fair. Some of the players might have even retired by then. I did really like the design of these cards as well. The stadium in the back and such. Oh, am I getting two then? And we just, yeah. we just did really well for Wales, I didn't expect that. So moving on, we have the fans' favourites. So this is probably took the biggest hit with us not opening that much. And we opened a premium box, so you don't actually get them in there. So we don't have that many. Yeah, you get the higher inserts in yeah. there. We're really struggling here, as you can see. We might go back and open a box. We're not sure. But we do have the TNE, so that's quite cool. That's one. the Rising Stars now. Yep. Um, oh, yeah, it is. Sorry, yes. And we do have two of the England Rising Stars there, so that's quite cool as well. And then on to some goal stoppers. Yeah, it's actually quite well for those, to be fair. And then we have some defensive rocks. Onto some key players. Some nice ones in there. And then the game changes. I think this is my favourite insert. I think the green is really cool. I like that it kind of changes the background colour. Yeah, Pookie the there. Top. You can see a game changer for Finland. Who qualified. Yeah, but then in here we do have these really cool Nations League cards. And they're like a see-through kind of laminated card which was pretty cool. Yeah they're plasticky aren't they? Yeah we definitely do want to get our hands on a few more of those. We want to get the England one at least. And then moving on we have the limited editions which we have actually completed but for some reason we don't actually know where we put Royce so that's was, not ideal. He was in the final magazine and we did open it. We shared the pictures on Instagram and then for some reason he's not in the binder and we seem to have misplaced him but we did get him. Yes we did. we did have him. I'm not sure where we put him. We'll have another look for it over on another day. If not, we'll just buy him again, I so, guess. So these but, are just the regular limited editions? Yes, yeah, so we have some nice ones in there. We've got Lingard, Chesney. Harry Kane. Chesney's a good one. I think the Sterling is my favourite. So it just it looks such a cool card. Yeah, such it's a cool cool like a celebration. A card. And then moving on, we, like I said, we did open a premium box. So we do have all of the premium limited editions, as well as all three of the premium gold limited editions. So they are pretty cool. So I think the premium golds this year for this collection look really cool. Yeah, they really are. So let us know in the comments which is your favourite limited edition. Okay, so continuing with last season and moving on to the 1819 collections, starting with this Match Attacks Extra collection. And I have to say that this binder cover is probably one of my favourites. The colour scheme is awesome and it's got Lacazette on it. 
and no Tottenham, so what's not to love? We've got the best five teams in the country there, obviously. So this is a complete collection. Uh, we're starting with the update cards. I love the extra collections. I just think they're really fun to collect. Yeah, definitely. I really hope that there is going to be one this year still. And probably for the Champions League, of course. What does feel as last season as well in the Premier yeah. League before they Good got times. relegated? Good times. <laughs> yeah, I hope they bring one out this year as well. So that is the end of the updates. And we have the new signings. I'm still not a fan of this font, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. And then we have the extra boosts, as we will expect in a extra collection. Some really awesome cards. And then moving on to the ballers, which was a new addition for this season, this collection. And the flying fullbacks as well. Like we said, this is a complete collection, so we have them all. And then we have the man of the matches, starting here. Which is usually where we struggle with a collection, but we did okay with this. Yeah, we did end up buying two, so that did complete it for us. Yeah, we still needed two that we didn't get out of packs, and that was the Harry Kane and the Willy Bolly. So then we have the Hattrick Heroes. So we have Hazard, Salah, Firmino, Aguero and Yotta. But we do have this non-foil Aguero Hattrick Hero, which we found in our on-demand cards, which was specially inserted into so many on-demand cards if you bought it in a certain week, and we managed to get one, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty lucky. And then the 300 clubs up here, then we started a new page for the limited editions, which do actually fit on one page. So then we have a row of Salas, a row of Canes, and then the Superstar limited editions. Two from the starter pack, and Sterling was in the tin. So that's them all. And then the tin cards themselves, which was the stars of the seasons. And then in the back we've just put a few error cards. The Danilo with no value. And the Kachunga, that's actually a Mooney And we don't have so many of this because Mrs. has took them for a Huddersfield collection. So we only have the yeah. two. Next up we have some more on-demand cards. So this time is for the 18 and 19 Champions League. So as you can see, we start things off with the round of 16 in the corner here. Yeah, they didn't do the group stage. We do have a lot of doubled up teams, which is quite interesting. So there we go. Some more round of 16. Then moving on to the quarterfinals there. Yeah, I think they have improved them for this season because they put which game it is, where it hasn't, doesn't say that this time around. Yeah, it is a pretty fun thing to collect, just a little extra really. The main collection this year was the Premier League ones. But it was quite interesting, we nearly had a full row of Barcelona players along the bottom there. So there we go, the semi-finals here. And then we end things with the final, and this really cool Jordan Henderson card of them celebrating with the trophy. So that's a nice end to the collection. And that completes it. Next up we have the Match Attacks Champions League Extra Road to Madrid 2019 collection which comes in this little A5 binder. So this is a complete collection but it wasn't released in the UK, it's another one that wasn't released in the UK but it's such a cool set that has a lot of variety that we just had to go and get it. We've separated the Champions League card out here and then we go through the squad updates. So this was released in the form of four mini deck boxes which, if you got all four, did completely the collection. I think in Australia it was released as a box and packs, but for Europe it was the mini deck boxes, which were pretty cool. It was a different way of collecting. Yeah, we did open all four in one video, so you can check that on the iCard if you wish. And then we have the Rising Stars here, which is the second type of card after the squad updates. Then the Super Boosts, which is just like the extra boosts. I really hope that they do something similar to this this season. Yeah, definitely. It definitely could. It'd be really awesome to see. So there's the super boosts. Quite a lot of those. And then we move on to the flashbacks. So this was again a different type of card where the background is kind of bigger than the foreground and the foreground has a full size player. And it tells you like match day one this was a hat trick against PSV. So because it was the extra collection, it was released after the group stage. So there was a few little facts like this throughout. We then had the trio cards. 
It's just okay. a really well designed collection overall, I think. Yes. Yeah, like I said, a lot of variety. It made it really cool. Then we have MVPs. So it's some sort of stats from the group stage. Again, that's pretty cool to see. And again, the background's bigger, sort of a celebrations or in-game photos, and then the full-size player at the side. Then we have Centurions, just like we have this season, but it's very different design. A lot of things going on in the background yet again. And I just think it makes it really cool to have the things in the background. And then we have Past Masters, a more regular looking type of card. Speed Kings and Hotshot Strikers. Then we're going to the group stage record cards. So this was the most saves. He had 39 saves in group stage. Quite a lot. And then the Man of the Matches. Again, the background being big and the foreground being the full-size player. But a little bit of a line graphic going on as well. And I just think that makes the whole card just pop and with the Man of the Match kind of stamp on it. Yeah, really, really awesome design. Yeah, this went down quite well and we loved it too. But we also loved these group stage hero cards. Again, another card that just pops because of the font and just the player centrally. There's a lot of different types of cards here. Like we said, this was released in the form of four deck boxes. So in each of those deck boxes, you did get 100 club and one limited edition. So all the 400 clubs here. So we have Nyoya, Godin, David Silva and Neymar as the 101. And then we have the limited edition super squads. So like we said, these are exclusive to this collection. They weren't in the regular collection with the rest of the super squads. We've got the Bale, Lewandowski, Aguero and Griezmann. Just to finish off the set, nice limited editions and the 100 clubs. Continuing with the Champions League, we have the 2018 main collection and it is actually the only collection from the 2018-19 season that we haven't completed but we are still on the look for a full box to open up so maybe try and fill in some of these gaps. So as, we, as you can see we start things with Barcelona and we're already missing cards. It's kind of a bit of an irritation with it being the only one that we haven't completed. So definitely on the lookout for that box. But we will go back. We always want to complete a collection once we start it. Yeah. I did like the inclusion of the winners being hollow, which I think is a little bit of a shame that Liverpool didn't get any this season. Yes. So moving on to the German teams. Go quite quickly through the base, because like I said, we haven't completed it. We're kind of close on some of them, though. It's not, like, terrible, but just need still quite a few cards. So on to the Premier League teams. We have Man City. And then Man United, Tottenham, and then Liverpool. Yeah, let us know in the comments if you'd like to see us open a full box of this. Yeah, it's definitely on the hit list. We've been looking for the UK version though with 50 packs. So far we've only managed to find the European version, which has 30 packs I think. So if we can't find a UK edition, we will just go ahead and buy that I think. So as you can see, moving past all the base now. Still, I don't think we have a complete team, which is a bit of a shame. But we will do it soon, surely. So on to the minor of the matches, and we have a similar design to the extra collection. With the stamp, and really awesome design. We do still need a lot of these, as you would imagine. Yeah, we always seem to struggle with minor of the matches. Yep, on to some mega signings. So these were quite good ones to get. We did double up on quite a few of them, actually. So. Yeah, especially that Delaney. Yes, and then on to the 100 clubs, which as you can see, we do still need quite a few. What is it? One? Like four? That's not actually too bad, to be fair. I think we bought one or two, though, that's why. And then on to some hat trick heroes. We have the Harry Kane there. And we only have the Mane. So I'm not sure, actually, sure how many there are to get still, but. Yeah, we, we always just start the limited editions on a new page if we can. Yeah, we like to have them together, and I did really enjoy collecting these Super Squad Limited Editions. We do have all the Limited Editions. Yes, yeah, so we have De Gea, Company, Ramos, Hummels, Van Dijk, Sane, Nangalan, Coutinho, and Pog Paul Pogba there. And then we continue with the seller, Messi Kane, Neymar, and Ronaldo. And then we did pick this up from eBay. It was a German exclusive in the magazine. Yep, and it's the only non-Super Squad Limited Edition, as you can see there. It says Limited Edition in blue, rather than having the Super Squad logo. 
Yeah, so that is one of the harder cards to get for the collection. So like I said, once we've opened the box, we'll be pretty much done. So moving on to the exclusive cards from the tins. So we have the title winners and the super strikers. Yeah, we did actually open a lot of this collection. So to be as empty as we are in the binder is quite unfortunate. Yeah, then moving on to the superstars and then finally the rising stars. So like I said, we are looking out for a box to get this complete. Okay, so we're going back even further because we have the Match Attacks 2016-17 collection. And we had previously opened a tin for this collection, but we only really started collecting it when we opened a full box for an episode of Flashback Friday. So that's why it's in here, because it's something we started collecting this year. And as you can see, there's a lot of different teams in here to what you would see today. Hull, Middlesbrough. And considering we only opened one box and previously a tin, we didn't do too bad. We have quite a few complete teams. I think Arsenal's our first complete team, which is the most important one. But as you can see, a very different design back here. And it was just awesome to be able to open a full box of this because we wasn't collecting at the time when it was released. So yeah. we're going back to try and get all the previous collections, especially in Flashback Friday. And we will try and complete this because it is a nice collection. Yeah, maybe you'll see more of it in future Flashback Fridays. Yeah, so like I said, quite a lot of complete teams. And the rest, we just only need a few cards in terms of the base. Yeah, we did pretty well to say we've opened a mini tin and the box. Yeah, so and it we wasn't did, even a mega tin. We did open the starter pack to get the binder. Yeah. So Stoke, we normally struggle on, but we managed to get the full complete team. And there's Sunderland, who are down in League 1 now. Yeah, that's pretty crazy, isn't it? And Swansea. Tottenham's always a sign we're coming towards the end of the base. Another complete team there, and we just need the one for West Brom. And West Ham is complete. Then the away kits were separate for this collection, which is normally now blended, or it was in the last few Premier League seasons for match attacks. And then we have the Assist Kings, Game Changers. Yeah, these are like skills cards. Set, set these specialists and only the one freestyler. Man of the matches, again, we're struggling, but as you'd expect, we did only open a certain amount of packs. So it'd be unlikely to get them all from one box and a tin. Yeah, they are normally the main challenge when trying to complete a set. Yes. So we didn't do too badly. But we'll try and fill this up over time. But it's just something we started this year. And then this year was the Celebration Collection where they included previous 100 clubs and mainly 101s from previous seasons. And we did get quite a lot. We got the Torres 101 there, the Rooney 101, Van Persie 101 and a different Van Persie 101. And I think this page would fill up with all the previous ones. And then they had the regular 100 clubs. I think there's four. And we did actually manage to get the 101 Vardy. So that was pretty awesome to get that. And then in terms of limited editions, like we said, we haven't opened that many products. We've got the gold Harry Kane, which I think was in the starter pack. The bronze Coutinho from the mini tin. And I think this was what we got from our box. But then there's quite a lot of a gap. There's a whole page there that we still need. We will try and pick up the products and try and fill this up. We put the tactic cards at the end. Like I said, huge gap. And... You maybe see some of those products opened on future Flashback Fridays, so look out for that. Next we have the 1516 collection, which is another collection that has featured in our Flashback Friday videos. So we did open 10 multi-packs, so we're not doing too badly to say we haven't opened that much, but there is quite a lot of gaps in this collection, but we do have some more packs to open so hopefully we can take off a few more so as you can see there is quite a lot of gaps but it is a really really nice collection I really like the design it's very simple you have these all-rounder cards inserted into the teams that's quite nice and there's a star player yeah so, Lukaku's still at Everton there yeah interesting <laughs> so it is pretty nice to have some inserts in the teams Sergio Aguero star player there I think we managed to get like three or four of that one in the opening, so that was pretty crazy. So Norwich, 
back when they was in the Premier League and now are back in the Premier League. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Stoke. Some familiar teams here, but some that haven't been in the Premier League for quite a while now, so it's always quite fun to go back and open all the collections. So Watford. Coming to the end of the base now with West Ham. And then we will move on to the man of the matches, which as you would imagine, we're not doing too well. But we have a new open 10 multi-pack, so you wouldn't expect to be doing too great. Yeah, it's a theme throughout this video that we're not doing well on man of the matches. <laughs> yeah, so we did complete the Leicester man of the matches, so that's pretty cool. As well as the Stoke. So it was kind of nice to have them grouped together, the ones that we did get. Some more man of the matches there. And again, in this collection, the away kits were separate from the main teams in the base. So we did pretty well for those, actually, so that's quite good. Then moving on to some duo cards, which I really like. I really like these cards. Nice inclusion. And then we go on to the tactic cards. And we did manage to get the 101 for this collection. And then we have the special edition Vardy, which was made into a separate multi-pack later on to celebrate Leicester winning the league. So it replaced the limited edition. Yeah, it was released at the end of the season, we think. Yeah, so that was a cool one to be able to add to the to the binder and then onto the limited editions we have the Costa from the starter pack and then we managed to get the silver and the bronze from the multi-packs but we didn't actually manage to get the gold which was quite disappointing given we had 10. Yeah 10 multi-packs no gold. And again we did open a mini tin for this collection so we do have the Giroud there as well. Yeah we'll probably need to get another one from our Arsenal collection. Yes so like I said we do have more packs of this so keep an eye out for more in Flash Pack Fridays for this collection. And lastly, we have the Match Attacks 2010-11 collection with the old Match Attacks logo. And again, this was something we started collecting this year. Thanks to Flashback Friday, we opened a tin, a box, and most recently a Mega Multipack. So we haven't opened that much. We still do need some cards. But we're having a lot of fun with opening this collection. This is one of the, our favourite flashbacks that we've done. We've even bought some cards in for it to try and help us along the way. Man of the Matches and Limited Editions that we'll show once we get there. So it's been pretty awesome doing this and we'll probably open a few more things in future Flashback Fridays. Like we said for the previous collections. Very vibrant colours, very vibrant colour scheme and design. And a long time ago this was. Yeah, it's quite interesting to see how different the players were in the Premier League and the teams as well. Yeah, and no club badges this season either. It started with the goalkeeper. That's quite interesting. I'm not sure when they included that, when they started to include that. But it's just kind of simple and kind of nice through the base. As you can hear, the binder is quite thicker, so it makes more of a noise when you turn the page. And then we have Wigan here at the end. Oh, there, Wolves. We're back in the Premier League, of course. And then we had the Showboat cards, which were quite unique for this collection. Very hollow, very shiny. And then the Man of the Matches, which I think still to this day are some of the best Man of the Matches that they produced. Very simple again, but the nice colours in the back. And it's quite similar to the limited editions. Yeah, and the 100 clubs. So. Yeah, the 100 clubs, yes. That was it. So we do need quite a lot again. And then here are the 100 clubs. So we have the Czech, the Rio Ferdinand and Fabregas for this page. I think there is a signed Rio Ferdinand and a gold signed Rio Ferdinand, but they're very rare and it's unlikely that we'll be able to find them. They're probably in people's collections by now. And then the final 100 club is the 101 Wayne Rooney. And then we have manager cards in this collection. This was in the main collection. Yeah, we're we do still need quite a few, but we do have the Wenger now, so... Yeah, we have the Wenger. And then the referee at the end, and then the limited editions at, right at the end of the binder. There weren't many, there were six, that, but they don't fit in the binder. We've had to put the last one in just the back here, which is a shame, but we only need one, which is the Defoe. We bought in the Vidic and Pina, and most recently opened up the Cahill, which didn't come off the Mega Multipack too well. It is damaged, so it being in there is not too much of a problem. But yeah, like we said, we will be opening more of these Flashback Friday products that we've opened, like this, the last few collections that you've seen. 
and that is all of our collections that we've opened and collected this year we have opened more but we wouldn't class it as that we've started collecting them so this is all the collections that we've collected so let us know in the comments what your favorite collection that you've collected this year was i'd say mine is still the 101 yeah i'd agree and hopefully they do something similar to that at the end of this season but that is all from us thank you for watching we hope that you enjoyed seeing all of our collections that we've started this year like we said earlier we did a similar thing last year and hopefully we'll be able to do a similar thing next year so we're going to collect many more collections we hope you can join us for that but for now that's all from us and we'll see you next time bye